Welcome back, folks. It's uh, we took a break. Uh, wait, we? no, we didn't. No. I don't think we did. We didn't no. take a break. We did one last week. We did. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Come Town. Uh, this is episode eighteen, I think. Nice, we're legal, baby. Yeah, Finally. time to fuck us. I was thinking about doing it in seasons. Oh, so, yeah. Well, I mean, some podcasts do that. I would do it. Let's do it. Yeah, after we hit like thirty, maybe take a couple weeks off. Yeah, who knows? You know? Uh, I mean, we're not doing shit, honestly. What do you mean? We don't really do any... Why would we take a week off? What are we going to do with our time I off? have to go to Los Angeles at the end uh-huh. of the month. So when I said that, I meant I'm going to Los Angeles <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the month, so we need to take a break. Maybe we'll just record a bunch. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, I haven't done stand-up comedy in... Like he a did month it in our now. show. In two yeah, days. Uh, thanks for everybody who came. By the way, that was awesome. Yeah, Funny thanks moms. a lot. That was a real banger, guys. We all got head. That was dope, as they say. On the we streets. didn't all get head, fam. It I'm, was dope, fam. Fam, I'm crying because I'm so touched by all the <laughs> fans. That- <laughs> the emojis. We yeah. have the crying emojis now. Yeah, it was a fun show. It went well. If you didn't come, uh, you know that's fine. Next one is October 24th. Uh, which is the Monday night, we're, and then we're gonna be regular Monday night. I think the fourth or third Monday of the month. I can't do math. I guess the, th- the third, third Monday of the month. I'm also uh, uh, I'm in the Roastmasters bracket. Oh, nice. Are you doing that? No. Yeah, I guess Patrick. Um, he might. Did he hit you up about it? No. Yeah, it's like. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, like that's a, awesome though. Who, yeah. Do you know who you're roasting? No, it's like quick. Four joke rounds. It's like oh. a, a championship, okay. and then like I think the winner gets like they're feeding talent to Comedy Central through it. So gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, right. you so. can be on, you can be on that show, and then I just want to write for Rose. Yeah, well, you should. That's crazy. That yeah, you're yeah. perfect you're, for it. You're genetically engineered to write. To be yeah, we, you're like you're a guy who should have been a carpenter, but who is stricken with an autistic ability to think of jokes. It's, Especially mean ones. I don't think I could be a carpenter. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> you could I be a low level carpenter. If you spent your whole life doing carpentry yeah, instead of I open probably mics, could actually. It's yeah. really not that complicated. I mean, it's hard at the very highest levels of carpentry. Yeah. yeah. When you're you got your Norm Abrams, your Bob Vila. Bob Vila. You can never touch Vila. Guys that you know, <laughs> yeah, I used to, you're out. They, they don't actually no, do anything particularly difficult, those guys. No, I know. I don't every think. single episode is like, Okay, we're installing a door frame. Uh, we've been doing the show for 35 years, so this is the 7 millionth <laughs> time we've done this. Yeah, and, and he's making fun of Al. He's making fun of Al? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that Why does guy, Bob Vila just look like Al? Well, the, uh, Al is supposed to be... Home Improvement was supposed to be a parody of this old house. Oh, or Tool shit. Time was. Gotcha. And then it, I guess it evolved, you know, to match Tim Tim To, to get a lot more... Uh, persona i really think the better show his act is would have a, been t- like the final episode of home improvement should it be like a dream sequence you know <laughs> like uh what was that what's the famous example oh uh dick van dyke uh it, no no no, no, no. uh uh northern exposure is that are it? you sure it's not dick van dyke i don't think it was dick van dyke the, one, the show where shows. it turned out at the end it was all an autistic kid's dream in a hospital house Northern Exposure. Northern Exposure, <laughs> maybe. I, I don't know. I can't remember the fucking example. Wrong. And I'm going to get like 50 people DMing me being like, oh, it was heart to heart, <laughs> asshole. Which <laughs> uh, it wasn't. I know it, was it wasn't heart to heart. Oh, but I know. It was hanging with Mr. Cooper. It was hanging with mm-hmm. Mr. Cooper. Uh, Mark Curry wakes up and he's a white man. <laughs> and he's, he's like, a- that's why the show was so good. <laughs> Why it was so well written. I'm Jewish. He's looking at his hands, there's a bunch of pennies stuck to him. I was Jewish the whole time. That's why it was such a well written show. Um, it is funny that like Norman Lear was like writing Sanford and Son. You yeah. Know? Well, what was I saying? There was a dream, dream sequence. Back. Yeah. What were we oh, though the better version of Home Improvement. Oh yeah. And so the final episode should have been Tim Allen like coming to. And he like is dreaming all that while he's being violently raped in prison <laughs> for his for yeah. his 1974 uh, federal charges for cocaine, cocaine possession. Yeah, he got caught with like 30 pounds of cocaine. That's awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, but big he, white's pretty he, cool. He squealed when you oh, all, yeah, when you rolled. white. It's all right. He turned state's evidence. Did he? Yeah, he's, he's a, a rat. Snitch. He's dude. a yeah. snitch. Yeah, let's dude. find him and beat him up. You know? Yeah, and he's got no all snitches. that buzz, buzz light year money, dude. Yeah, that dude's gonna be so fine like, the rest of his he life. He gets out of prison and then he's like, I'm gonna do comedy. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. That too, was the sound like, he made while he was eating. He was in prison until he was like twenty nine. So, uh, like you know, you think like, oh well, I've blown it. You know, you get older and you worry about how much. I, I honestly just think it was easier to do comedy it in was. the eighties. It's fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the absolutely. Pe- I mean, they, less people were like, I'm gonna do this. You as didn't a even career. have that joke. You watch some of that shit, and it's like no jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it literally was the grunt. Have you ever seen like old Richard Belzer sets? The oh, Bells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Richard Belzer, you know what? I, he, <laughs> he's been playing the same character for 45 yeah, years. Yeah. Dun, dun, it was on, on Homicide. Shows. He somehow gets cast on new shows, and they're like, okay, well, the role is for uh, this guy is a cop. His name is uh, Jonathan, uh, uh, you know, uh, Miles or Let whatever. Let me stop you right there. And he's like, Munch. no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> that can't be the name of the character. It has to be Detective Munch. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be Munch on every fucking show. <laughs> it's because I Munch box. Yeah, so what was it? It was Homicide? Homicide was the first show. And they, he makes then it. Law and Order, and he, then Law and Order SVU. Right. And then the Detective Munch Mysteries. He has a book. He, he made a about, cameo on The Wire, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, but well, he detective, was... The real Detective Munch is on The Wire. Oh, shit. As he was another like, guy. As, he was, oh, I think I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah He's like as a police... Colbin's like, uh, uh, like, yeah, like right. captain or something. Right, right, yeah, right. that's right. When the, And the Hamsterdam episodes. He's the yes, guy... Yes, with the like, mustache. Yeah, yeah. The guy with the mustache, it's yeah. like... I guess this is a pretty good idea. Yeah, with yeah. the most horrific Baltimore, Baltimore accent. Yeah. Well, it's so funny. This <laughs> the, the people in the show that are from the town like stick out like a sore thumb. Right. Like the woman that's interviewing Prez Belusky when he's like becoming a teacher. I don't remember her. Yeah, I mean that was obviously like yeah. a local. Well, Snoop was Snoop local. was yeah, local. Yeah. yeah. I was bullied I, by I, lots of Snoops. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, 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 Prop Joe was too. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And uh, uh, McNulty, also local. Yeah, right my steps no, is I know. Went to high school with, uh, what's his name? Chris? Which one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He gets, he's pretty scary. Um, fuck, who else? And Mike Diesel is on the show. <laughs> yeah, Mike Diesel. Mike Diesel is in the gay club that Rawls goes to in the background, like chatting with some guy. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. He's no, an extra. He's not. Yeah, he is. He's an extra on the wire in the gay club. Wait, the one where Wilkerson you find out Rawls is gay? Yeah, like, that was yeah, so awesome. That's yeah. awesome, yeah. Every HBO show needs a scene where one of the characters, you find out they're gay like five seasons. It's yeah, pretty yeah, tight yeah. that they never reference it really again. I know. Although they have him in like the office looking at porn. You know they they have like subtle references, but they never really it never comes. But he's up. not why is he is he gay porn? No no no. Well, the fat guy Landsman's looking oh, at porn, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. into Landsman's office to yell at him, and then he like picks up the porn and looks at it. And he like nah, it's like pretty good porn, and then right. like, puts it back down. Well, it makes sense. The guy yeah, yeah. is trying so hard not to be you know yeah, yeah. seen as gay. Barry it's Levinson so- sets all his movies in Baltimore also, and like That's he'll right, put baby. like a regular guy in there, and it again it's like jarring. <laughs> right right. <laughs> they no, they can't act at all. Yeah. There were so many people in the wire that just could not. Yeah act. yeah yeah. Okay, I right. agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was like because you know they have the like I watched uh, Injustice for All, mm-hmm. you know it's got Pacino in it, and then all the characters they just you know the actors it's it's like yeah it's like an East Coast city so just sound like you're from Brooklyn and nobody's gonna give a shit right or whatever. But then there's one scene where they're like in the courtroom and then they he's like. Me and my, I need to go brief my client back in the jail cell. <laughs> you know, so he walks out, and then they have some other guy come up, and he's like, "My client has never uh, <laughs> done anything wrong before this, so you should probably just let him go." <laughs> like, what? okay. Uh, fuck, I love Wait, it. But uh, did you did you guys ever run into what's his name, uh, John Waters in Baltimore? Oh yes, he's dude. like still around. Right? That guy would just hang yeah. out. He, he would hang a, out at Club Charles. He was at Club Charles. All the time, Club and Chuck. I saw him at fucking uh, where's the other one? Uh, the Crown. He'd be at those two. He would just be there. It was yeah. you could always tell who like was not. You go to every one of Chris Hudson's shows. Yeah, he was trying to fuck Chris Hudson. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Chris Hudson's just real? getting fucked by John Waters, and he's like, "Huh, he's going well for me." I don't know. 
Hashtag mustache goals. Hashtag mustache goals. We'll see if this goes better than my other sets. He said, could you be quiet, please? My friends, my friends band was in the Midwest. <laughs> and there was just some dude hitchhiking. They stopped, and it was John Waters, like middle of nowhere, like really? Iowa. Yeah, yeah. He has, he's incredible. like legendary for like showing up. In the, he's like Bill Murray, sort of. He's, he's like, like the gay yeah. Bill Murray. He's Apparently, all Bill the bar, uh, bar owners in East Austin fucking hate Bill Murray. Really? I heard this from Jake, who, you know, Jake and Blake who work in the service yeah. industry in the, on the, all those East Six bars, but like. You know, Bill Murray will just show up in Austin and then walk behind the bar and start bartending. <laughs> and no matter what people order, he gives them like a tequila with lime or some shit. Uh-huh. I forget what it is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, let me get a Bud Light. No. Yeah, and he'll do that. But then he doesn't charge anybody, so he'll just give away thousands of dollars <laughs> worth of you know drinks or whatever. He really is just like hipster Chuck Norris. That's all Bill yeah. Murray has become. Did you hear his stern? No, it's really good. We should just play That's all it I got. right now. I don't know. He's, yeah, he's become like he got elevated beyond what he ever was. Right. I mean, he was never really that funny. Yeah, he's I good. Disagree, dude. Yeah, I disagree, Well, not. I don't think he was that funny, but I think he was so cool, dude. He was so fucking cool, in my like, opinion. What do you mean by cool? Yeah, I mean, he just had that, like, the coolest that actor vibe. of all time. Jack Nicholson. Probably Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah. that guy has lived a life. I mean, yeah. Leo's pretty cool. Leo is cool. I like fucks, the fact that he dude. can't he grow Rihanna. a good beard. That's, I yeah. mean, he's one of us, one of me. me. Yeah. Oh, I can't grow shit. Yeah, he's one of us. I, yeah, it's depressing that I probably can grow the best beard in this room. Your beard <laughs> sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it's better than yours. But no, I got a big it's ass true. beard. I just, just kind of like, like my haircut. I just decide to keep it short. Yeah, I have thick <laughs> hair and thick a beard too. Yeah. Also, well, you have like a weird like stripe yeah I have some kind of weird on. I have like medically rosy cheeks it's like I cannot <laughs> like I was meant to just be a little fat cute man <laughs> yeah. I just look yeah, like a good gnome like, yeah <laughs> I can't help it dude I'm like a fucking I'm like a like a, a minor character in a Disney movie <laughs> like a cobbler that helps to move the plot along you're like one of the seven Thief and the cobbler that was like uh Oh yeah, they were like some it was like a, the Adam Sandler movie. No, it was like a piece of uh, animation that took like forty five years to finish. <laughs> really? And it yeah, just, and I, it think, I think Miramax <laughs> distributed it, and they had to like cut all this shit out. But I'm trying to remember the name of the guy. That was it like stop it. motion or something? Or? No, it was like you know conventional animation. It was really the guy that hand? did it. It wasn't Ralph Bakshi, but it was like a guy that was like Gerbils. Yeah, it was Adolf yeah Joseph Hitler. Joseph Gerbils. <laughs> yeah. Was it, was, did it ever get released? I think it did, yeah. But it took like 45 years to make, to get the movie made. <laughs> so it's got like Vincent Price in it, and he recorded all the audio in like right. the 70s. <laughs> and then the movie came out in like 1998. <laughs> I would love to see that shit. Yeah. Can you guys, can well, one I know use? animation, like in, in, in terms of animation, it's like renowned. Oh, okay. Is yeah. Vincent Price like the basis for the Chappelle white guy voice? Uh, I feel like a lot of like act outs and stand up are just based on Vincent Price's voice. Ew, hello, uh, I'm doing George Takai. You think so? You yeah. think I am gay? <laughs> I'm Tis- gay. Hmm, grumpy cat. I'm a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> George Takai. Yeah, that's, that's not a particular George Takai. <laughs> that guy just I can has cheeseburger. <laughs> and also I am a faggot. Also <laughs> cock. Yeah. I can has penis. Ha! ha I am a faggot. <laughs> Dude, how does that guy just become rich just by stealing? For me, everyone's mad at the yeah. fat Jew, but no <laughs> one cares that George Takai. Yeah. The exact same fucking thing. Yeah. He's uh, just gay and old and Chinese he's just or whatever. A nice or gay old Korean. Japanese. I fucking Japanese. despise him, dude. When I was working at the BSO doing fundraising, mm-hmm. uh, which was the funniest job. Yeah, it's just you and a bunch of old old ladies. women, and then like one like really fucking ugly guy named Craig. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I, he was probably like twenty eight or twenty nine. Uh, maybe in his early thirties. <laughs> just hideous. Like he kind of he had, you know, like his eyes were sunken way into his fucking <laughs> oh, head. His God. skin was all shitty. He was balding in a shitty way. And then he had these like shitty. I think you call them middle school glasses, but those like rectangular mm-hmm. glasses everyone had in like two thousand one. Right, 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 but right. he's still mm-hmm. wearing them. And uh, 
I guess the BSL had George Takai there, and it was like on the schedule, and they handed out the new schedule or whatever to everybody. And he's just in his chair, like reading it quietly to himself, and he's like, "Oh, George Takai! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! Oh, wow! You know, and like had to loudly exclaim, you know, how yeah, happy dude. it was." It's so annoying. <laughs> it's he's for people that fucking suck, dude. That's what my problem with him is. Is yeah. that it's just like, if you love him, you love bacon. You know yeah, what I mean? You go right. also. Did we Somehow about worse this? than the bacon people. Uh, but he, they're the bacon people after. Yeah, after like bacon. After yeah, yeah. Bacon. If you're a bacon guy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, but we, we, I think we talked about this off mic a little bit. Why have dogs become bacon? Have you seen that shit? Now everyone's yeah. like, I love dogs. I think it, you're, it's just the waitresses from the stand. And your, oh, you your face in my feed is, is over. I don't think so. I think it's that. in Twitter, too. No, it's know. animals in general. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I just adopted a dog for the selfies purely, so I, do. I totally get it. Although I think if if babies ever become it, I fucking love watching like fat babies dance. Like we talked about the Chinese, the Chinese, baby, the Chinese thing. baby video is great. Oh my god, I love babies. That doing kid whatever. is the best. Yeah. I think fat Asian kids are you, just the best part the about cutest. that is like he's just in some bullshit fucking. I want to say village in China, <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. have like cities that, <laughs> that yeah. the no population the is like, like four hundred million. million people. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> yeah, right, right. And it's like Chongji, ba boom, Population eight point seven yeah. million. <laughs> yeah. They just make pollution. That's all the city yeah. does. Is they just fucking create pollution. Well, they Little build cities cubes. out of nowhere. Like they build like high rises that are like completely vacant. They just move millions of people That's into them. Fucking nice. yeah. Um, which would be perfect if they had Judge Dreads, you know? <laughs> that would. It's like mega cities. Can you go over there as a white man and just become a Judge Dredd? I think so. And the government just has to... I bet if you paid the government enough money, you they would, would let you be a white yeah. Judge Dredd and just Free kill people. Free citizen. Yeah. Hi, Paul. I ain't dying. Yeah. I ain't dying. Yeah. Yeah. You're just being English. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh! Just what do you think? scream Chinese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's funny there? What do you think they think is funny? In China. I fucking, don't know. Like uh, an entire fucking bus going off a cliff. <laughs> People from Laos getting beaten, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like other Asians, lesser uh, Asians getting beaten. Black people. I yeah, think oh, they, yeah. They probably oh, love. Yeah. Dude. Stefan Marbury, didn't he have like a whole play? He had was a play, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's incredible. Such a, it's awesome. They love NBA there. They go the fucking basketball. nuts for NBA. And D Wade. Did love he star D-Wade. in his own? It was a musical? show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like a Vice documentary about That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like, oh, I am Marbury. And then there's like a translator that's like, Xing Tao Ha Jen Marbury. And then it's like, we are all Marbury. Yeah, it's incredible. Have you yeah. seen that, that Chinese guy that does the Obama impression? No. Oh, it's great. He like, oh, he does an Obama impression. He's famous in China for doing Obama impression, but he doesn't speak English. So he's just like, uh, okay, uh, barbecue sauce baseball. Uh, okay, good time. Okay, my dad. Your dad? Great. Sandwich, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he just like speaks nonsense. Is he just a Chinese guy? Is he? Yeah, he's he just black a Chinese at all. No, no, he sort of looks like Obama, but he like has the cadence and bop, but it did But he's, he's just like speaking gibberish. gibberish. Yeah, that's awesome. I can't wait. We to should see book it. him on our on Funny Moms. Yeah. On our show. that's the funniest thing because like, <laughs> we should book him on this podcast. It's funny to do fake languages, but like to have somebody from another language. You know, another country do fake English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very funny. That's the best. Yeah, that's the best version possible. That's I how mean, my we fucking, do my that cousin with... in Greece. Hey man, hamburgers, hot dogs, man. That's him <laughs> <laughs> trying to do an American accent. <laughs> yeah, hey, Jackie, like, New York City, man, black people. <laughs> Alvin <Yeah>. Klein. <laughs> yeah. Just... Yeah. My Israeli cousins are like that too. Adam, you are like a Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> you are just like a Chandler from the Haverim show, the Friends. Have Was, you seen? Is that what Friends is called in Israel? Haverim. <laughs> Haverim. <laughs> How awful does that theme song sound? <laughs> uh, it's good, dude. That's my favorite song. No, in in Jewish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be there for why do, you. Why does Israeli sound like a French accent also? A lot of huh. They do the huh. Yeah. Yeah. They do the R in the back of your throat. Guttural. Yeah, yeah, they sound like French yeah. people. Who fucks better, Israelis or French people? French people. <laughs> you don't think Israelis fuck good? No, no. It's funny, maybe that French. Get the, they have the reputation of like fucking good, 
And they're such, like, just obnoxious fucking people to be around. Yeah. They have the reputation of being perverted, don't they? That's, like, the stereotype. I don't think they fuck good, man. Because just because of, like, the Marquis du Sade. Marquis de Sade and Pepe, and Le, Pepe Le, Pew. Le Pew, who was yeah. a rapist. Yeah, but who's a Pepe rapist. Le Pew follows Marquis de Sade. I mean, that was like, the, you know, French people already had that reputation. That's why they had right. They made That's it. why yeah, Pepe it, makes because sense. Because it wasn't like nobody thought Mexicans were sleepy until Sleepy Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. Speedy so, Gonzalez. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wait, Sleepy <laughs> Gonzalez is... I think it's started with... Sleepy Gonzalez is his cousin. <laughs> oh, is he? Or the, the other mice. The other oh, okay, mice are okay. like... They have a Sleepy... Yeah. I think Speedy's you know, sleepy too. Sleepy, I think Speedy's f- always napping or running. I think the French got the fucking thing when Benjamin Franklin took a boat there for seven months just so he could eat fuck pussy. horse. Yeah. yeah, God, he's awesome, dude. He's the best. He just went over there and ran through the court, <laughs> and he's like some fat guy with a bald ponytail. Yeah, yeah. bald pony <laughs> fat guy. Yeah. Legend. Legend. He probably had like a leather brace he yeah. put on when he fucked. He, uh, he invented a bunch of shit that people don't know about, like uh, the Hawaiian shirt <laughs> <laughs> and uh, frozen margaritas. <laughs> I wrote those a classic. Like, those are all Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> um, arguing with the uh, the cashier at GameStop, Benjamin Franklin invented that. Shotgunning tall boys. Yeah, the blockbuster gold card. <laughs> that was invented by Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, people think it was a key that he Benjamin held. Benjamin Franklin it was actually a blockbuster gold yeah, yeah. card. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin was the first mystery poo. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. ever was. <laughs> Yo, if we un- that's fucking hilarious. Uncover the Benjamin Franklin Pua manual. Don't Yo, that's a bit, thing. dude. That's oh. sketch. That's I did sketch, write a sketch dude. about Benjamin Franklin who was just eating pussy. I mean, legitimately. I'll show I wrote it to you guys. a sketch about him like doing science or whatever. A sketch I called Benjamin Franklin scientist because back back then, like. To do an experiment was like, yeah, let's set this uh, person's head on fire. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Oh, it kills him. So I invented that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Yeah. Half of Benjamin Franklin's inventions were fucking stupid as shit. <laughs> yeah. The glass harmonica. <laughs> the most inconvenient musical instrument of just all time. Shat, just cut your whole mouth open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You, that's s- not what a glass harmonica is. Oh, damn. It's like a table that has all these wine glasses on it. Oh, that thing. The yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can play all <laughs> the wine glasses. That? Yeah, he made that's that. That's dope. You, who that's, is using that? How do you even go about yeah. starting to make that? I don't like, know. Why he's the biggest alcoholic in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, he's how can drunk. I drink? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he just syphilis? fucked up. He got a syphilis? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Um, and apparently, he believed in fresh air. So, like, even when he was, like, in Philadelphia, it was, like, negative temperatures he'd have the window open because he thought that would make him healthier yeah <laughs> well that's a, like before they had like him. a solid understanding of how disease worked they thought like um yeah bad air was what caused it bad so, air. so during the plague uh if you had the plague you would be seen by a plague doctor who was the guy that would show up and so like children would get the plague and they'd be like the doctor's here to see you and they wore this terrifying like bird mask Oh they yeah, stuffed like, like uh, eyes wide shut. Yeah, they would stuff like uh, uh, you know a bunch of like incense and shit in the bird mask, so it would like make the air smell nicer as they inhaled it, and then they would just sort of poke at you with a stick. Jesus Christ! Yeah, and that's how you would fucking die if you had the plague. That's a, those, those guys must have all died. The plague doctors. There's no way those bird masks protect you from the plague. Yeah, it was like the, it was for new doctors or shitty doctors or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like the bottom barrel of being a doctor in like the 1800s was having to work with retarded people. <laughs> <laughs> like no one wanted to do it. Where your doc like doctors were like glorified like barbers at that point. Right? Yes, yeah. some of this? it. I think because uh, people like, got that idea from the Nick. Right, it's like the, I I don't remember the Nick presents the idea, but it used to be that you could get surgery done at your barber. Yeah, back yeah, yeah. when like surgery was kind of new because they had knives. The well, because they used to do bloodletting. They, they used to do oh, like right, bloodletting right. it and when you would go get like a shave or whatever. That's so a funny like, sure, thing. Sure, yeah, I'll cut one of your lungs out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got an extra five bones. Yeah, that yeah, show is pretty dope. Lit. Yeah, the Nick's good. They shoot that in bedside in your neighborhood, not far from where you live, like four blocks from where you live. Don't tell fucking people where I live, dude. Dude, at top of the Now empire. people are going to find me. They're going to come find me. They're going to find the hospital from the Nick and then track me down. <laughs> no yeah. one would ever... The idea that they find out where the Nick is and then they're like, all right, now that we have this landmark where actual yep. famous people are, yeah, yeah. we're going to use it to find Nick Mullen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he, gets, he, gets, he fucks the Chinese bitch uh, where mm-hmm. I used to live. Who? Deep Zip City. 
<laughs> Who does? The uh, main character. The show opens with uh, him, Clive Owen, having like, sex with, having sex with uh, Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And doing opium. Nice. Yeah. Never seen it. Yeah, he's a he's a drug addict. Yeah. Is That's that a, a pew? Show. No, it's a feather. It's a feather from the Stop pillow. filled with feathers. I thought you pulled a feather out of your shorts. Just I did. Now. My dick is nothing but feathers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a series of feathers glued together. Is that what being a male feminist is? Yeah, a Do male feather, feather dick. Chief yeah. feather dick. You know I what I? I tickle bitches till they come with my feather dick. You know what being a male feminist is? Hmm. Buying a flashlight, but not fucking it. Only eating it like <laughs> pussy. <laughs> That's no That's feminism. That's fucking great. I was thinking about yeah, this. Yeah, I have one, but I only do it to practice eating pussy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I just looked it up. So that Thief in the Cobbler movie, uh, it started production in 1964, <laughs> and it wasn't finished till 1995. MLK was... No, he wasn't alive. Uh, yeah, it beat the 20-year Guinness World Record held by Tiefland. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, let's talk about eating pussy more, though. I love How it. much money do you think it would take? You would have to pay Yo Yo Ma to pl- to play music while you eat pussy in the same room as him. Steve Jobs could. Like, how much money? Is he still playing cello? I'm sure he is. You know what? You know what nationality he is? What He's French? Did you know that? Really? Yo Yo Ma. You told me that Lou Bega was German. That was weird to find out. He, he is. is. Yeah, he's German. I mean, Lou Bega, you get to play music while you, you know, eat pussy for two, a dollar. Do for two nothing. of the brothers, yeah, yeah. two of the brothers from OMC died uh, separate from each other. What's OMC? Uh, how bizarre! <laughs> <laughs> how bizarre! How bizarre! <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Do you remember that band <laughs> Lam, Len? Stops yeah, yeah. hat. Stops wearing a bucket hat for the listener at home. Yeah. Seal my sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a brother and sister act. There's another music video of theirs, and the song's pretty rad. Actually, my friend showed it to me. But like the brother and sister are like kissing each other and stuff in it. Nice. Do they fuck? Uh, they don't fuck, but it's like really weird. Interesting. The two people in the band. Uh, for listeners at home, just you know, check that out. Just check that out. <laughs> Yeah, there needs to be more brother sister fucking in Meg, the music world. M- Meg and Jack White aren't brother and sister. Right? No, no, that was married, a lie. Married, but they fuck. They're ex ex wives. I would fuck Meg White. Uh, the guys in Crazy Town used to fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> Shifty Shell Shock and uh, <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> what was Crazy Town song? Uh, You're my butterfly, uh, sugar, oh, baby. Shit. That's come right. on, my lady. What a come on, my terrible lady. Terrible name. Did I tell the story. In the you know who looks a lot like Crazy Town guy? Who? Andrew Bucket. Oh, Very yeah. similar. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you um, want to talk about might how be, he might have yeah. been molested again? Yo, did I tell you that he like <laughs> texted me after that? I was like, yeah, I've had to explain to everyone how I was molested. <laughs> Yeah, it's Adam, really Adam texted me. me. He was like, yo, I think Bucket was is serious about this. I'm like, he's fucking with you. Yeah, he's like, I don't think he's fucking with me. I'm like, he's absolutely fucking with you. The president of trolls, Nick, like, sees the text one time. He's like, no, he's fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can sniff out a troll. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's pull one over on me, bitch. <laughs> Untrollable. I love it. Well, hopefully he really was, and this sets off another round of him being... He could get it. molested now. You think so? Is it molestation, though, if you're a fucking grown man? Um, or isn't that sexual wow, assault? Wow, dude, that's rape culture talking. <laughs> isn't it just rape? That's fuck- I watched this awful Keanu you can't Reeves a movie. Man. I watched this awful Keanu Reeves movie yesterday. It's directed by Eli Roth. I forget the name. But basically, Constantine. the movie starts off, he's like, you know, it's like happy marriage, two kids, you know, him and his wife are like happy together. They establish early on that his shoulder's fucked up from some kind of surgery that he's had. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they show you that. But uh, then the wife and the kids, they go uh, like to a vacation house, and he needs to stay home for like one extra day or maybe two extra days to get some work done. And while he's there at night, you know, getting drunk by himself, working on stuff, looking at pictures of his wife and kids and like FaceTiming with them, there's a knock on the door, and it's these two young girls, and they're, it's like pouring rain. And they're like, yeah, we're looking for the party. And he's like, what party? You know, yeah, and uh, they're like, "Is this?" Uh, and then they pretend like they have the wrong address, and they stay there all night. And like, you know, he's like, "Yeah, I'll call you an Uber or whatever." And they're like, "Do you mind if we like put our clothes in the dryer? We don't want to, you know, go to this party with dry clothes or wet clothes." 
And then they stay there, and eventually, like, you know, they're going to rob him or whatever. Right, right, right. And they f- eventually they force him to, like, you know, they corner, like, they're, they go in the bathroom or something, and he's like, I have your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> You're done drawing. Yeah. You know? That's a good and, and, then, and so he, like, goes into the bathroom, and they're completely naked, and he's like, what are you doing? Right, right, right. I'm... Married, (laughs) and they're like, "Come on, fuck us!" And he's like, "I can't," you know. And then they like force him to fuck them, you know. They rape him essentially. How? They, you know, they pull his dick out and start sucking it, and they pin him against the wall. That's cute. And then they don't leave in the morning. And then you know, the, the rest of the movie is like. You know them fucking up his life. They never ever ever won anything. They don't establish why they targeted him. They just sort of destroy his house they and like mean. continue to rape him. You know, and the end of the movie is them posting a video of them raping him, like on Facebook or whatever. What? Yeah, this is a new movie that it's, is Uber it's and Facebook garbage. It's a fucking really bad movie. And it, why I did you watch it? I don't know. I was just looking for something to watch. <laughs> uh, Do you see their tits? Yeah, of course. Nice. But it's like. Imagine if you made the like gender swapped version of that movie. Yeah. Just some woman, she like her husband goes out of town, and two men show up and rape her for two days, and then they're like, "Peace, bitch," and then that's the movie. It's a scary movie. <laughs> what is scary? It's scary. Yeah. And then they post the video of them raping her yeah. on Facebook, and like everyone's like unfriended. And they How dare her. you? Yeah. Jesus. How do you rape him, though? I mean, are they stronger than him? Couldn't he punch them? Uh, Whoa, no, they knock him better. out and they tie him to a bed and shit. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, knock, knock, knock. The name of the movie is Knock, Knock. It's got a 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. Who That's are the two girls high. in it? Do they um, have big titties? Uh, it's weird. It says uh, uh, Mrs. Stav's mom what? and uh, Stav's sister. What? I have a sister? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> my sister and my mom were both in big budget Hollywood movies where they yeah. rape Keanu Reeves. They play cunts. Yeah. They play total uh, cunts. Anna de Armas. Nice. And Ignatia Alamon. Ooh, sounds, those both sound hot. Are they good? Are they, they hot? big old honkers? Yeah, they're all right. Uh, knock Knock, which is about two women wreaking havoc on a married man, aspires to be titillating, but more than anything, both persistently persuasively angle ang- pers- angle to make you angry that doesn't make that sense. sucks fuck I give that review a bad review yeah, suck yeah, my yeah. dick Allison yeah Will that's Moore. what we should do we and should Buzz review the news. reviews <laughs> oh, BuzzFeed news yeah. hilarious how BuzzFeed tries to have a news a- arm get the fuck out go, go do some gifts bitch you Didn't feel they, me? like, have some good Black Lives Matters coverage or Maybe, something? Maybe, but, dude, you gotta name it something different. No one's ever gonna take BuzzFeed news seriously. Yeah, suck, yeah. Fuck off, BuzzFeed. You know what I mean? That's my stance. Suck my dicks, Tim Ankenholtz, who works for BuzzFeed. Does he? Yeah. What does he do for them? Ankenholtz, you're fucking fired. Ankenholtz, you're banned. Who's that, Uncle Timmy? Actually, if you get his jobs at BuzzFeed, we'll take him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he got fired from that whatever website he was working for. Uh, Shittier version of BuzzFeed, yeah, viral Nova or some shit. Yeah, damn. <clears throat> yeah. So, anybody? Did, you, did anybody else see any any other movies with rape in it? Um. Yeah, there are plenty of movies with rape in it. Yeah, well, I watched a bunch of Steven Seagal movies. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Technically, rapist. every time he, there's a Steven Seagal sex scene, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, technically it's on the border. <laughs> yeah, it's in a gray area. I don't want to hurt you. But I have to. <laughs> <laughs> He's How the did best. that guy even? He was just like some guy's karate teacher. He was. He was a stunt coordinator, and then, uh, <laughs> well, he like fucking went to Japan as a teenager and like learned aikido there, and, and just wore pajamas the yeah, rest of his life. And he was working in L.A. <laughs> as like a stunt coordinator and like an agent or whatever. Some coked up '80s agent was like, "I can turn literally anyone into a star." <laughs> and then they, like, I think he, he might have written above the law. I don't know, but That's crazy. Yeah, that was his first movie, and uh, and then it was all, you know, sort of briefly uphill, then completely downhill. From right, there. right, right. And now he's friends with Putin. Yeah. See that awesome video of him in <laughs> Russia doing a demonstration yeah. where he like beats up a hundred people. Yeah, but he's just <laughs> he's just doing, you know, his fucking wrist. He's just moving his wrist and they all flip. Yeah. Um You know it's funny, you he's look at him doing now the motions and you're like for- <laughs> Well, he's really let himself go, but you don't have to go that far back 
to see when he got. I mean, I mean, he's. He got fat pretty fucking Yeah, he was never... In I don't even remember Under him in Siege. In Above the Law, he's though. in, like, in good shape. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. He, well, he was very, like, thin. He was, oh, like, a... Shit. He was never jacked. He was, I didn't like, know always, that. like, a very thin guy. And... But he's also very visibly balding in his very first movie. Oh, really? And then suddenly he has hair again. He got plugs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dog, I can't wait to get plugs. When the, when the fucking technology's good, I'm gonna, gonna have direct beautiful. deposit drop... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a weave. <laughs> I'm gonna get a weave, dude. dude what if I started? We're about to weaves. have a weave president, man. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Does awesome? Hillary have a huge weave for the rug community? Does it, Hillary? Uh, are you talking about Trump? Trump. Oh, you know? we gotta talk about Hillary's fainting. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Well, I just love that it's like. <clears throat> I thought that it was like the conspiracy theory, like white nationalist. Yeah, everyone's saying, saying that she's dying. dying, right? And then like, it was like, Kumi oh, LOL, this dying. is so funny. Like, Sam Hyde thought it was really funny. Yeah. Posted a bunch of shit about it. And then she actually kind of is dying. Yeah, yeah. They're right. I guess they're right about. Yeah, if they're right about her having a body now. double, it's going to be so funny. That's oh, the be body terrible. double thing? Like, oh, of course she doesn't have a fucking body double. And then they find out she has a body double. It's like. Wow. So one woman is brave enough to have someone else be them, but she can't brave her way to a brave, proud, powerful, female, influencing victory of strength and integrity and woman style. Brave, avoiding rape by being strong. The strongest way a woman can. It's like, are you even saying anything anymore? <laughs> You just turned into all superlatives <laughs> halfway through that argument. She's so brave, strong. I can't even. You when a woman has to. This what is a woman her, does. This is her fight song. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen a, that video? The what? The fight song no. video. The Hillary Clinton fight song oh, video. Yeah, but, oh my oh, god. Of all the celebrities like singing it. Nah, no. It's but it's oh, a music it's video for Hillary Clinton. By who? That. That by this some is song. your yeah, 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 yeah. Right song. This is this is my alt right song. <laughs> um, what? what? It, I mean, if, if she fucking if, sucks so much, if, if she's if she's just dying, like though a conspiracy theorist will never stop hearing the end of it. Yeah, that's it. If Th Tim Kaine becomes the president, that's gonna be. Nah. Such well, I was news. saying, I was saying, finding out that she is dying, I this like the most ridiculous conspiracy. Well, you theory. hear what just came out today? It's like it she be, doesn't drink would, water. Hold on. It would be like if uh, if the, the conspiracy <laughs> if we just found out that. Like Obama actually does sometimes wear a bone through his nose. Yeah, yeah. Or if he was Muslim, it's yeah, just like yeah. <laughs> no, he was reads the Muslim. Quran every yeah. once in a while. If he just had to admit, like, uh, I apologize um, uh, for keeping it secret, but I do occasionally enjoy a bone <laughs> through my nose. Uh, no further questions. Yeah, what is the thing about <laughs> what? Why doesn't she drink water also? Like, that's fucking... Is that what they're saying? They're saying she it got It does feel like they're lying about a ton of shit, right? Oh, yeah. She completely. only drinks Pedialyte. Oh, that's good shit, dude. She drinks pee. I drink that shit, yeah. Yeah. I only drink piss. <laughs> I drink hot peppers. I enjoy drinking piss. <laughs> I believe it was <laughs> Pepe <laughs> the meme frog <laughs> yeah, she said, said drinking racist. piss... Is delicious. Yo, leave Pepe alone, dude. He's like, what? A, she Pepe. said he was racist. She said Pepe is racist. Pepe wasn't racist. I for hope a long the boys' time. club guy who like sees that and he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I feel bad for that guy because the Pep, the he actually makes a funny cartoon. Yeah, boys' club is that's great. Actually, good. Yeah, 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 and then people stole it as like they memed it as like, isn't this ridiculous? But it's yeah. like, no, no, that's it's funny in context of his work. And yeah. then that took its own. Now people are putting him on like SS uniforms. <laughs> They're putting like Pepe yeah. in like SS uniforms. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Well, it all stemmed from that one comic where Pepe is like peeing with his pants all the way around his ankles. Right, which is funny. It's funny. It's very funny. It's funny, and uh, I remember specifically the retarded kids in my elementary school doing it. They should make yeah. it. was so funny. It's so funny like, how they all do walk that. In and you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Why is this guy? And they like turn fully yeah. around, and their dicks are just out. <laughs> yeah. and they have these big retarded dicks. Why do they all do that? I don't know. Every single, it's like universal. All retarded and their dicks, dicks are huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big honking. I was thinking outside, like, you know, the, the restrooms <laughs> on the Jersey Turnpike next time I'm on the road where there's like a million people in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go up to the urinal and like very casual. 
casually pull my pants all the way down to my ankles and stand there and start yeah. pissing. I'll pull my shirt up with my hands. Why is it the funniest thing? It's such Why a is it so funny? It's hilarious. It, first of all, even it, it's not easier. <laughs> Like it's yeah. it's harder to pull your pants all the way down. It's, so it's, it has to be in some instruction manual for like. So you've decided to teach retards, you know, <laughs> yeah. from like the fucking sixties when they <laughs> stopped, you know, just jailing them <laughs> the, the, for the crime of being in, retarded. Yeah. It's in the nineteen fifties to put them in the Man, home for the criminally retarded. I, I remember one time in elementary school we were playing kickball and some girl <laughs> like. Like, got tricked by a retarded kid. <laughs> like, like he, like, stole a base somehow. Or, like, she got outwitted by a retarded guy. <laughs> and then she was like, you're a, you're retarded. <laughs> like, she just made it. And he was like, you're a retard. <laughs> and, like, and everyone was like, ah! <laughs> everyone was, like, high-fiving him. Just, it was just like, one of the best. And this girl got bested twice Roasted. by a retarded Roasted. kid. That's awesome. Oh, That's so man. funny. funny he Roasted. called her a retard. Yeah. That's awesome. You're a retard. You're a retard. Yeah. You're a retard. I love him. She just got so fucking... And she was racist, too, and the kid was black. It was awesome. Have you ever seen the documentary Jeff Town? Jeff Town? Yeah. I think you told me about this. It's about a guy with Down syndrome who's, like, in his 40s, and he lives with his, like, 97-year-old grandmother who has this, like, awful edema in her legs. Ugh. And so she's just, like, wheelchair-bound. And, uh... He's, he has Down syndrome, he works at the movie theater, but then he's, like, aware enough to exploit people mm. um, by, like, taking advantage of the fact they feel bad for him because he's retarded. Yeah, yeah, and Then yeah. he's also, like, racist, and he, like, <laughs> he just gets drunk all the time. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, there's one scene where there's a girl he likes at the movie theater, and her friend shows up, and he, like, hasn't met the friend, and the, the girl that he likes, she hugs the uh, her friend, and uh, he gets furious at her. Oh, God. He's like, why are you, why are you hugging her? And she's like, because she's my friend. He's like, you're a fucking lesbian. <laughs> it's not okay to be gay. <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's like homophobic. It's just a great documentary. Damn, that's they awesome. They just found like the biggest piece of shit down syndrome guy in the world. <laughs> This is one scene where the girl's like talking to him and she's like, Jeff, are you still buying prostitutes or whatever? You hang out with that prostitute? And he's like, no. And she's like, why? And she's like, you made, she made me feel bad. And he's just, she's like, how did she make you feel bad? And he's like, because she put, uh, put, put the drugs in my arm. <laughs> and she's, he's like doing heroin with prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just a badass. He's just like, oh, yeah. uh, That's a cool ass fucking down syndrome yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, Damn. you know, being homophobic and racist yeah. and shit. <laughs> yeah. No, this has got scenes of him. He just goes to the bar after work and he orders like... Uh, you know, there's like yards of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so he's just drinking, <laughs> downing that yard of beer. Oh, man, that's incredible. What you could do without any yeah, of the like. Sounds it like used to be on Netflix. Netflix used to have a bunch of fucked up shit. Yeah, 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 early streaming. on. When Netflix instant first premiered, there was no genres. It was just like a list right. of everything that mm -hmm. you could stream. Because I, I remember when it like first, first came out, there was like 20 titles. Yeah. And then when there was around like 50, some of them were just softcore pornography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and a lot of people don't remember that, but you used to be able to beat off the Netflix. Yeah, you still can. I guess. You still find yourself a nice little, you know, something where yeah, Tia watch, Carrera's got her tits out. Oh, yeah, watch, uh, Wayne's World. Her tits are Steel there. Magnolias. Sophie's Choice. What did I beat off to recently that wasn't porn? I can't remember. Well, man... Um, yeah, a, a hot picture guy. of a fucking man. Yeah, yeah, a picture of uh, where you always beat off the one hundred percent hardcore porno. <laughs> it's you gotta see the dick going in. <laughs> yep, I'm I'm trying not to beat off to porn, but it's tough, man. You're trying not to beat off to porn. I just feel like you be you're a better person when you don't beat off to porn. You think? I think you're guided by your dick in a in a more pure way. Mm hmm. Or maybe a less... I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just feel like... I don't know. I want to... Fu you fuck better when you don't watch porn? Do you? I think so, because you're hungrier. That's porn not true satiates at all. you. And also, you, you, you can only like, beat off to weird, specific shit. No, I beat off to everything. What was the last thing you beat off to? 
I don't know. I usually just go to like X videos or X hamster and pick something on the first page or two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been doing recently. Yeah. Uh, I beat off to Mia. What, what's the... What's Khalifa. The yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Damn, that girl. I, I'm not into it. No? I've never been into like whoever's super popular. Hijab porn? No, the hijab stuff. I don't care about the popularity, obviously. But Doesn't she, she has do big, she does, big goofy titties? She does hijab porn. She'll though. do a couple of hijabs. See, where it's like her. That's like a it's thing. Like, first of all, it's a Puerto Rican girl. It's yeah, like yeah. her and, a, and like just a no. I think Hispanic she's Lebanese. Girl. She's Lebanese, but I mean, it's oh, like yeah, her the other like girl. Yeah, two yeah. Muslim girls yeah, yeah. get you know, and they're just sucking guys' dick in hijabs. <laughs> it's pretty funny <laughs> if you're you know. If you're fucking Islamophobic. That's some Charlie Hebdo shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dude. can't really watch... Uh, sorry, guys. I can't really watch commercial... Like, How the fuck has Charlie Hebdo been around so long? Yeah, it's pretty bad. But, yeah, and every one of the... Like, the jokes? Every single week, it's like... Uh, look at our new cartoon. It's a Muslim guy and he's uh, sucking a Jew's dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, it's right, what do we funny. have for next week? It's, it's like, a satire. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a Jew and he's sucking a Muslim guy's <laughs> dick. <laughs> and then, okay, well, what do we have for the week after that? Um, uh, two Jews <laughs> sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> but their noses are even bigger yeah, this yeah. time. <laughs> it's, uh, but their Jews noses are so big a... they can't reach the dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Jew sticking his nose into the ass of uh, Hitler. <laughs> and he, but Hitler is Muslim. <laughs> Hitler is Muhammad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit's... It's, it's a like, free speech and very funny. Yeah. It, like... Do you get free speech automatically if that shit just sucks? Like, well, they don't have free speech in France. You, the United they States, don't. Is the only the United States is really the only place where you have like a guaranteed, you know, uh, it's written into the law that we you know have a protection for freedom of speech. Other other places they just have like a an idea of freedom right, of speech, right, 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 but then right. they can still pass laws that. You can just not do that. Well, shit. they uh, in France they won't let you wear a fucking hijab on the beach. It's yeah, fucked up. Yeah, that's hilarious. They're just like straight up Islamophobic. You need hopefully, to be like a sexy air if you come to the, the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like a sexy girls out there. It's here. illegal to not have pussy hair in France. You gotta that's have a true. big bush. I don't know. I think France should get a little bit of break. But like, people are like, wow, can you believe this? That they questioned that woman in a hijab. They didn't like tell her she couldn't wear it. They just fucking. Checked her I out. I thought it's illegal to have hijab. I, wh- you're talking about that picture that was trending on Twitter, right? Well, yeah, there was that, but like, no, it's not even on the beach. I think like you can't go to public schools wearing them, right? They did pass a law at one point. I don't know if it's still law. Is yeah. that still law? Oh uh, yeah, I remember that back Dude, around. I don't like, fucking know anything in, about it. I don't know. Anything, it was like when 9/11 yeah. happened. Fuck France, though. France is gay. I'm glad that we're pretty anti-France on the pod. Although Paris seems nice. Dude, you know what? I'm pro-France. I just decided. Because you guys are anti? You swapped on us, bitch? Dude, I had a friend. My friend Eric went, uh, studied abroad in f- Paris for a semester in college. You studied abroad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did she teach him anything? Yeah. Hey, it's <laughs> fucking old. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Did teach him how to eat pussy? Hey. Whoa. Did she teach him how to eat asshole? Whoa. They thought about how to eat an asshole. <laughs> um, no. Second, 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 I'm thinking of pussy. And, like, he legitimately thought when he came back that, like, his opinions on things were... Partially from the French perspective, <laughs> it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Just like having that sort of an ego about yourself. <laughs> uh, I could never. St- I never studied abroad. Yeah, I well, I actually lived in Delaware for six months, so <laughs> I have sort of more of a Delawarean perspective. <laughs> it's a Delawareness too. <laughs> you got Delawareness. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you want to talk about race issues, just keep in mind I lived in Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? No. I don't think anyone's ever lived in Delaware. Ian Fidance. Really? He's, He's from, from Delaware. there. Delaware is like a place for like grandparents that don't have a lot of money to retire <laughs> right? to. Yeah. <laughs> you like, can't make it to Florida. Check this out. Waterfront property. <laughs> I got a house. It cost me $22,000. Yeah. <laughs> I got a boat that I'll never fix. Half of Delaware, I feel like, is Philly and half of it is Maryland, right? Uh, Basically. Yeah. I mean, half is Philly, half is the beach, I think. Yeah. It's not even really Maryland. Yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah. all of the all the Mid Atlantic shit. There's that like South Jersey kind of spillover. Yeah, but like a lot of Philly suburbs are in North yes, Delaware. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, Wilmington's basically Philly. Philly. Yeah. yeah. 
And they got no sales tax. Yeah. Yeah, that's why of, all the credit card companies do that. Yeah, a lot of companies oh. incorporate there. A Delaware corporation. Time to take them down. Yeah, no income tax in Florida and Texas. That's tight. Yeah. Imagine if you could combine the two of them to create mm. the greatest state of all time. The greatest tax haven of all time. New Hampshire. <laughs> Live free or die. I love that shit where they're like, yeah. you can't tell me to wear a fucking helmet. Yeah. You fucking piece of shit. Well, I just love shit. the live for your die is your state motto, which is like, you can't go with a cartoon. It's not like New York is like, New York, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not on the license plate. <laughs> no, I think that was like a revolutionary war guy who yeah, said that live was, for your die. Name? Yeah. yeah. It was uh, Voltaire, actually. Was it? No. no. Voltaire? No, but Volta- Voltaire, I think, is the one that's... uh. I don't uh, uh, agree with what you're saying, but you know the one. Oh, but I, I to defend to, your I'll right. I'll defend to the death yeah, your right, right to, say to say it. Yeah, that was Voltaire, right? Uh, he said, uh, "Mr. Potro." That was Mr. Mussolini. It was Benicio Mussolini? Yeah. No, he kept the train. It was <laughs> Anton Chigurh from <laughs> yeah. No Country for Old Men. <laughs> don't put it in your pocket, where it will become just a coin. <laughs> Yeah, Oops. that was a fucked up character. Yeah, but that guy he was, was messed up. up. Look, yeah. he had a bad haircut. He ain't got, and he's pissed off at the whole damn world because of it. <laughs> you know, it's like just go back to supercuts and get them to fix it. <laughs> Don't have to go around killing people. <laughs> just get a better haircut. Problem solved. You ask me. That movie could have been five minutes long if you let me direct it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're listening to John's movie review. <laughs> okay, Star Wars. Problem number one. It's his dad. Just call him up. Sort it out. You don't have to kill all those people. Remake the movie. It's two and a half minutes long. He just loves Bing, short bang, movies. Boom. He wants yeah, every yeah. movie to be short. His biggest problem with movies is the length. <laughs> I ain't got time to watch all these fucking movies. I gotta do the lawn. Yeah. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. Just wake up, stupid. What are you doing? You're having a dream. You're seeing... It's a talking line. Why do you think you're awake still? You know, you know. when I'm having... I'm taking a nap at work. I'll start dreaming something ridiculous. I'll, okay, I'm dreaming. I know. Why, why, was so, why did so many fucking movies just end with like think people waking up? It's just such an easy device. I don't think a lot of things. Well, Dick Van Dyke, famously, yeah. Wizard of Oz, Home Improvement, Home Improvement, yeah, with him, yeah. Like, him coming to after be, while being, being raped. raped in prison, yeah. <laughs> well, that's where the noise came from, huh? That's where the noise came from. Yeah, exactly. From. That yeah. was the noise he made while he was being <laughs> just pummeled <laughs> by Fuck, a man. different kind of football. I hope I don't ever go to jail. I would I would suck so many dicks. I, I think would you're be fine, man. So if, you, if you go to jail it. after age thirty, I don't think that you're going to get fucking raped. I you think I'm not know, cute dude. enough to get it's raped. Children Adam's get, cute. It's young people to get raped in prison. Really? Yeah. Nice. What if you you're mean, after thirty, maybe after forty. If you're like an older guy, they don't fuck with you. They might rape you. I don't think so. Let's open up the phones. Yeah. Guys, call in right now. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So this is just a little advice for someone that's been in jail before. You got to go. First day of jail, you got to go up to the biggest, toughest guy. And you need to kiss his, You need to fuck his boyfriend. You need to steal his boyfriend. I do love that. your boyfriend. <laughs> and then he's gonna. Then he'll leave you alone. He'll be like, "All right, I don't know. You find a new boyfriend." <laughs> I love that. I, that advice of find the biggest, toughest guy and beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, yeah. that he's the toughest guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pussy. I would never be able to do that. Yeah, there's no way. Well, I'm also, him why up. would you have to do that if you have the capability of beat, beating the fuck out of the toughest guy in prison? Just right. wait until a less tough guy fucks with you and beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> if, yeah. if you have the ability to, yeah. here's, here's the bet. You want to not get raped in prison? Here's what happens. If they come to you and they try to rape you, just don't let them do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't they say you shit your oh. pants and just like be like, just have poopy pants the rest of the time you're in yeah, prison? Yeah, that's how you save your dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Try and shit their dick out. <laughs> I Sorry. did it. I won. Sorry, dude. I'd have sex with you, but I have all this poop in my pants. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And all up in my ass. I wonder who the, the oldest man to get raped in jail is. 
Uh, Walt Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> Who did he, he did fuck kids, right? Yeah, he's a pedophile. Yeah, it's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I love telling people that who love his poetry, like his yeah. whimsical ass. You know that's for poetry. Pe- that's pedophile poetry that you're reading. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that poetry. leaf. That leaf is a little kid's dick. He sucked. That yeah. leaf in the wind. Was it Lincoln also a pedophile? Didn't people say? He no, was, they said there was some people. Or he was gay. gay. Uh, oh. The entire British military was gay. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> all the field marshals. The British. <laughs> it's true. We're all gay. Pretty much, dude. That's Basically, awesome. we. We have yeah. a beautiful boy on our bed. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, a beautiful child you know, on the, our bed. We keep him here. The <laughs> Uncle Sam, I Want You for the U.S. Army. Mm-hmm. That was adapted from a picture of uh, uh, Field Marshal Kitchener. Or like, I don't know, General Field yeah. General. Whatever. Yeah, tenant. the guy in India. Yeah, well, he went all over. I mean, he's a fucking famous like uh, British Army guy with this huge mustache. But it's him pointing and it says, I want you for the British Army. But... Uh, Apparently in uh, in Arabia he developed taste for buggering. <laughs> Buggery. Yeah. I love that it's called buggering. Buggery. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, yeah. he started fucking guys. <laughs> while no, but like children, <laughs> soft, yeah. delicate. Jesus. The bridge Boys. on the River Kwai. What do you think they're doing under that bridge? They're sucking each other off. They're oh, sucking oh, guys. The fuck sucking and I fucking. I just watched that movie a couple months <laughs> yeah. ago. The uh, the British Never Army, the U.S. Navy, the YMCA. Uh, it's all gay. Yeah, Broadway, <laughs> uh, Hollywood in general, uh, mm-hmm. the tech industry, <laughs> the, tech the industry. entire Microsoft Corporation, mm-hmm. Apple stores. What do you think they're doing behind that genius bar? <laughs> you wonder why they don't let you see behind it. <laughs> uh, actually, it's pretty accessible. Shut to go the fuck behind. up. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, actually, one, you know, sir, you can come right behind here. It's one hundred percent true. When you try to apply for a job at the Apple Store, they take you in the back. A guy unzips his pants, pulls out his Stugats, <laughs> <laughs> and he makes you suck on it till the phone. Did that happen to you, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. No, nah, I don't even use computers. <laughs> you can just let me see your. Uh, phone. I use computers because they're filled with pictures of naked men. <laughs> Every computer I've ever seen filled with pictures of naked men. <laughs> Never used one in my life. <laughs> ah, fuck. God damn. <clears throat> I love fucking being in, gay in the army. What about you guys? Uh, What is... The Navy is the gay one? Yeah, the Navy's gay one. What does that even mean? Did they really fuck each other? Yeah, because they're on the boat. That That's like... That's more of a, you know, because that, that used to be how you would be gay. Before just, you could just like... Uh, oh, shit. You had to go away. Yeah, you had to so like you, hide. Oh, so you're saying it self-selects where you would do these things. Gay guys would, yeah, they'd be like, you know, they'd be like, well, I can't be just gay, so I got to go on a fucking boat and, <laughs> right. and try and fix myself and run away from my problems. And then you're on a boat with like a bunch of other men with the same kind of, yeah, you know, hidden desires. Oh, I love it. Or they go to the cloth. Yeah, right? they become pedophile priests, which is the same as being or, gay. I mean, or they're Gore Vidal. That's those are no. The there's ways. like a big non-pedophile, just gay yeah, part of the sure. clergy, just yeah. cool gay dudes. That apparently there was a rumor gay. that's why uh, Ratzinger had to step down as pope because there was this big uh, gay prostitute scandal in Rome. Oh shit! That like involved like a ton of uh, yo. If the pope was gay, that'd be awesome, dude. You think he I mean, was getting? He that's getting basically it what over? the Pope is. It's like a mean, like Lord yeah, in a dress. Yeah, yeah. He isn't it's a like, he's just like gold judging dress. people all yeah. over. Yeah, the guy is just like a, just a big gold palace. Yeah, that is the gayest fucking thing you could possibly yeah, do. Yeah, you yeah. have those little slippers. You have like an assistant, a strapping young lad who helps you out and everything like that. Younger priests. The Pope's gay. You're missing this great The Pope's gay riff, Nick. Am I? Sorry, I was fucking with the levels. <laughs> what do you think? Pope gay? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know if the Pope's gay. Not the one right now, but uh, there have been plenty, I'm what sure. What if he is? And that's why he's cool. The really nice guy? Yeah. I think maybe. That'd be cool. It, that guy probably... It's crazy that guy's never fucked. Wasn't the thing about JP2? Everyone was like, you know he fucked. Before before he like started JP two that's a cool nickname yeah, yeah. for <laughs> JP two was like a Polish resistance fighter oh really and apparently he fucked yeah. he was I, not chill with gay people yeah I remember no. uh, my mom no. <laughs> my mom used to watch Will and Grace or you know just be on yeah on the TV 
And she used to go like off about it. You know what's so interesting is that uh, Will, the guy who plays Will, is actually gay in real life, but the guy who plays Jack isn't. <laughs> and it's like, you know, at the time it was like, yeah, I guess that's interesting or whatever. But that's what a funny thing for an adult to think. It's like, wow, isn't that weird that the guy who just sort of acts normally is like actually the one that's gay, but the one that acts like a crude stereotype of a homosexual <laughs> is just pretending for the sake of comedy. Isn't that weird? Also, that guy's probably gay. The guy who plays Jack? Yeah. I don't think so. No? No. I thought I thought he was like gay later. In no, because on the show, Will would be like, oh, I have to have a date with Mark tonight and we haven't talked about things. And then Jack would come on the show and he'd be like, hello, yeah, I you love know. penis. Yeah, I'm, who's got a dick for me to suck? <laughs> you know, and it's like he's just making fun <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of gay people. <laughs> he's anti-gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actively. <laughs> yeah. It was like, you know, it'd be like if you're watching I Am Sam. And be right, like, wow, right, right. did you know he's not actually retarded? <laughs> yeah. I love my Donna. The guy that played radio, though, was actually retarded. He was yeah. retarded, yeah. yeah. Um, I beat off a lot to Will and Grace. Megan Mullally's big fat jugs. Did you oh, yeah. beat off to Will and Grace? I, I, I think oh, I beat off a lot Messing, to, like... Deborah Messing's, like, she such... Was in the like, uh, in she while. had, like critically small tits where I feel like her life was in danger <laughs> because of how fucking small her tits were she got in the mix too sometimes I beat off to her She's, as well was, it was like physically upsetting I would watch that show <laughs> and I would get ill because of how was it like Will kind of mean to her he like used to sort of bully well, her well she wanted to have a baby with him in yeah, one they, of the later seasons yeah they tried to fuck yeah and, and he just like, could, he, like, couldn't fuck her because she's disgusting <laughs> yuck and he's like this is why I became he probably became gay because he had to fucking deal with Grace's fucking no tit ass <laughs> <laughs> the final episode of that show it should be a guy waking up and he's uh, next to some girl with huge tits yeah. and he's like thank god I'm not gay anymore yeah. <laughs> we can improve every show with a dream. <laughs> Look, I can make that show two minutes long. <laughs> Debbie, yeah. get some tips. Yeah. First of all, you get rid of Deborah Messing, you get a lady with big old cans. Okay? You That'll follow cure me? You follow me? Listen here. Listen here. Okay. She's got bigger tits, and then instead of Will and Grace, it's Will and like... Uh, Starla <laughs> and they fuck they fuck each other and you know Will feels a lot better about himself it's a much better show he ain't got no inequality to deal with just big fat juicy jogs yeah th let me did they ever get around to improving the home <laughs> we never find that out do we He's, he's always working on hot rods. Who, he's him? sitting in the garage yeah. working on a car. That's not part of the home. <laughs> Let's see an addition built. The set remained the same for the nine year run of that show. Yeah, I want to see a new mudroom. I want to see an entertainment center go up. You know, what happened to the kids from that show? No, JTT? everyone just remembers JTT. My uh, friend, the fat blonde one. He was the only one that really had a career. Mark, well, the, Mark was the shittiest character. The little one? Yeah. Dude, he, he married like some woman that was 30 years older than him. Good? Yeah, but it was weird. I remember seeing like, like when he was still young That's as hell. Pimp. Yeah. It's pretty fun. You should look at them. They look weird together. I saw a couple like that on the train the other day. An I old saw, like, woman. young hipster kind of dude and like a you know sixty five year old woman. Really, was she hot? Was it his she mom? She was all right. Was Maybe his mom it was or was she mom. trying to keep? That's better if it was his mom. But they were kissing each other. So. <laughs> I just like to think there's some sort of coddled hipster in Williamsburg that just like, well, yeah, I still live with my mom. Yeah, we kiss each other. But yeah. Yeah. She makes me kiss her, but it's cool friend. because I have my own phone line in the house. <laughs> so, yeah, and my curfew's like pretty chill. I went out with a girl. Who like lived with her mom in bed -Stuy. Oh wow! She had like a hipster mom oh, that got no. an apartment in bed -Stuy, And she's like, "Well, I kind of like live with my mom." She had a hipster mom, so her mom was like cool with her, like doing drugs and shit and like fucking. Uh, well, I don't know about the first one, but the second one she had no problem with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, were they like parents... roommates, or was it the thing where like no, her yeah, mom were... lived upstairs in her and she? No, they the were basement. like roommates. It was like it would be like if your mom lived in this apartment That's with bizarre. you, but in bed -Stuy. That's Whoa. so crazy. Yeah. 
My parents told me the other day on the phone that it's cool if I have sex. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. They're pretty cool, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. My mom will never let me have sex. That's why I'm celibate. Um, My mom insisted that I be gay. (laughs) So I'm only, I want to be cool to my friends. You have to be gay. (laughs) She really did want that. We could be best friends. Yeah. I I remember when I was like. When I was like 13, my mom was like, if you want to smoke weed, you have to wait until you're in college, and then I'm going to come, and we're going to smoke weed together. Oh, God. And I was like, yeah, I'm never going to smoke weed. That was like the best way to get me to yeah, never Yeah, that's the do thing. Drugs. I don't really see you smoke. Yeah. You, you don't really smoke that much. Yeah. I mean, I used to. When I was like a teenager, I smoked a lot of weed, and then I had like kind of a pot renaissance when I was like 21. Right. Um, I was like working from home. You don't really hit the ganj though that much these days. Uh, you know what? It's funny because in Austin, nobody really smoked weed. I was hanging out with Jake and shit. Jake doesn't really smoke. Well, you were all drunks. Yeah. 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 So after that went out the window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you can start it back up, dude. I believe in you. Speaking <laughs> of drug talk, I got some feedback on our opening bit from the show. From who? From uh, our friend Phil, Phil Cohen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> said, Haircut uh, Phil, dude. Showing up looking like. Hey, Adam, maybe yeah. try and lay off the cocaine talk Shut on stage. Shut the fuck up, Phil. Because, uh, you know, it's not exactly the most uh, uh, popular drug to talk about in public. <laughs> uh, I was looking around at the audience, and everyone looked pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Shut which the just fuck means up. That, which Phil, just means that was because anyone you made eye contact with and saw your haircut <laughs> yeah. immediately revolted. <laughs> no. that, was his hair wet? Why did it he was look wet. like that? Yeah, he just had a shower. Oh, yeah, okay. that's why he was he wet. Like that. But he did look like he had a jerry curl. No it, one, no looked, one, like just the top. He looked ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And he had a fucking tie dye shirt. As yeah. soon as he came in, we roasted his ass. Yeah. We didn't even say hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Why do you look like you've been following around fish? Yeah. Oh, he was also wearing a tie-dye shirt. Did yeah. we talk about cocaine on stage? I think we yeah, mentioned it. Yeah, because yeah, we were talking about it. We did a bonus the podcast. episode. The bonus. Which is, it will be released tonight, same time this one. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, I haven't had any time to sit down, and I guess now I can't go to the fucking gym, because i got to spend the night editing this shit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll no, it sucks. I Dude, fucking Roy, we should get on. someone to produce this. No, I'm not doing it. Why? It's because it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> no, you so just complained. You complained about it. <laughs> well, I, I have to work a lot this week. After this week and next week, I, you know, I'll have enough money aside that I can fucking chill for a couple weeks. It's th- we can talk about this off the mic. We don't have to talk about it now, but... Let's just go around the room and say how much we have in our savings. <laughs> Not, dude, I have a good amount, but it's all taxes. Yeah. Because I'm all fucking freelance. Have you been making uh, estimated quarterly payments? No, but I have it all in my well, in my savings. It doesn't matter. You can get penalized. I'll get penalized. It's not that much. Yeah, it's really not. It's like 75 bucks. It's not a big deal. But I mean, it would be nice to have, but whatever. Uncle Sam can suck these fat nuts. I want you to suck yeah. my dick, Uncle yeah, dude, Sam. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm going to roll a fat blunt. Go to the voting booth, spark <laughs> it up, vote Gary Johnson. I'm, I'm right never paying Bernie. another fucking tax the rest of my life, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I hate taxes. Hey, feel the Johnson. Yeah. yeah. I love the Gary Johnson. I just love, I didn't see, the, how did he say, uh, what is Aleppo? Because if he said it confidently, that's the most badass shit. It was pretty confident. Yeah. The, what? Why? He's just looking for a quote. You know the amount of confidence. Imagine if Hillary said that. People no, would be I like, thought that. You know how thought, brave you would have to be. Have I you thought seen that he thought Aleppo was the capital of the IS? But it, no, no, no. He that asked. was that was because the like I think the Washington Post reported on him. Not I don't know if it was Washington Post. Maybe it was like the New York Post. Or something. But they reported on him not knowing what. Aleppo was and they're like somehow Gary Johnson didn't know that Aleppo is the capital of ISIS but it's not it's not Rocka. so then they retracted it without oh, a right, note because right. like they posted this snarky bullshit right, right, about right. you know yeah, oh yeah. he doesn't know what Aleppo is and then they proved what, it what happened with the, the Washington Post is garbage yeah it's yeah. BuzzFeed now it's weird. Well, we left DC. Jeff Bezos. Yeah, guys, as soon as we left, we, we left. Gotta, I was holding <laughs> shit down. down yeah. hill. I would go into the uh, Washington Post every day. I'd be like, deep throat, bitch. <laughs> Woodward and re- how about retard and burns and, fuck and butt steam. stain. That's good. That's what I'd say to them. Retard and butt stain. Get in my office. And I'd use one of the empty offices. And I'd show them my cock. And I was like, guys, Deep. measure it. The guy's and then name was I'd write Deep the number right? down. And, they, and they would write day. the number down and slide it to me across the desk on a piece of paper. And it'd say nine and a half. And I'd think, that's goddamn right. Get the fuck out of my office. You're soft dick. Nine and a half inches. Yeah, yeah. Or were you hard? No, soft. Yeah. <laughs> 
I used to make that joke on stage. It, it, when it's like, hard, it breaks the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> you I put, can't even you, stand you touch, perpendicular. You touch the ruler to it, it shatters in a million pieces. <laughs> I it's make- like harder than diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest. <laughs> Just pussies explode. Yeah. You can't the look vicinity. at it. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I have uh, glaucoma because I looked at your dick straight through. Hell yeah. Without yeah. a sun visor. Yeah. What's the shit you have to uh, yeah. look at? Yeah. 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 Does the- old, does old, does sunglasses old people need yeah. to drive? Yeah, yeah that's what you have to yeah. yeah. I used to do a joke on stage about like when I first started stand up about how I'm a shower, not a grower. So I'm like... Uh, Seven and a half flaccid, uh, oh, I three that and joke. a half hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a fun joke. That's an oldie but goodie. <clears throat> oh fuck! I didn't say this. I went. I was doing a terrible show, like a terrible bar show, at, last night. Yeah, last night. Uh, Don't and it kicked that. I was doing a terrible bar show, and it was like you know, there's like a date going on. It's one room in a bar. No one knows a comedy show is happening, and three Oof. Germans walk in. And they were just like staying there because they're polite. And I'm just doing crowd work with them. And I was like, hey, what's your name? Fucking Hans. Mm. And the guy's name was Hans. <laughs> it was the fucking most beautiful moment of my life, dude. And I was like, oh, his fucking two German friends are laughing <laughs> yeah, yeah. at him. <laughs> Please have some chocolate. Yeah. A German named Hans. <laughs> that's fucking incredible, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's like the best way to do crowd work with Europeans is just to not know shit about their country. Absolutely. And people die laughing. Yeah. There was two Swedish girls at a show one time. I'm like, yeah, what do y'all make? Cuckoo clocks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was laughing. I'm yeah. like, I didn't even say anything funny. Yeah, I know. Just being, everyone <laughs> likes that you are also fucking ignorant as they, as they yeah, are. Yeah. Hey, don't you have a cuckoo clock to get back yeah. into? You I was just like, idiot. You got a Lego house. I was just like, give me, give us some money, you German pricks. Greece. Mm-hmm. They loved it. They, they loved did. talking about. Oh yeah, because the yeah, the, the, uh, the euros. Are, yeah, I'm good at comedy. What can I fucking say? I'm a good yeah. ass comedian. So I love. Yeah, stand up sucks anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's really not fucking worth anything. I know, dude. Nah. It sucks. But what else are we gonna do? Except podcast it. have a successful podcast empire yeah no you podcast po- get podcast popular you know your podcast keeps getting better and better better <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then you just keep podcasting and then you keep going and going and then whoops we did another podcast and here we are now and it's okay now i'm 37 and oh uh, mm, uh, what do i do oh model trains that sounds good so you get the model trains with the podcast money you will then, just <laughs> end up making fucking those sirens that you love that's You'll ultimately be an air air where you DIY air air yeah. air Dude, if I ever like sold the show and enough money to buy like a fucking house or the garage, I would do that. And then you know, I don't know, whatever I need to do to sustain it. Yeah. And then yeah, just what, fuck. wood shop or air raid siren shop. No, like a yeah, have like a wood, wood shop. shop. But the dream is to just have a warehouse and you turn it into a fucking wood shop that's also a gym. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the dream. That, that is a, the dream. That has, the that has a, a, dream. a car lift in it as well. <laughs> and like, uh, yeah, let me get one of those Jerry Seinfeld car, car, car elevators. <laughs> yeah, not a car elevator, a car lift, so you can work on a car. So you oh, you it. go underneath. I like. Yeah, you just yeah, want to yeah. do blue collar shit. Well, no, I want a gym, and then the wood shop, that's, and then also all, all pretty blue collar. Oh, okay. I guess I just like working on stuff. Yeah. I don't like working ever, dude. I don't even know what would make me happy. I think I'm just fucked. You, you should know, get into nothing. some kind of craft, man. I'm telling you. It's- I mean, I like cooking. Yeah. I, the thing I hate about cooking is cleaning up. Yeah, me too. We are breaking such new ground here. Yeah. <laughs> How long have we been Guys, going? have you ever realized that, I don't know, like an hour ten probably? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is all bonus. This last ten is bonus. Put yeah. this behind the paywall. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We're, uh, this thing's going to run out of battery. So we got to go? Yeah, we gotta go. All right, I'm going to Yankee Stadium tonight, guys. For what? Dodgers Yankees. Oh, oh fuck, that's sweet. awesome. Who got you tickets? And Phil? guess what? Guess what, guys? Phil get you tickets? When they, I'm gonna fucking He's not dead. stand when they play the take me out to the ball pa- yeah. ball game <laughs> yeah. because of out of Please respect. Please stand for a uh, rap song written by a police officer about <laughs> killing black teenagers. <laughs> yo, 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 it's Officer Murder. <laughs> yo, I am good. Blue Lives Matter. I see a kid. I don't know if he's dangerous, so I'm going to fucking blast him. God bless America. <laughs> Everyone has to stand for that. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go. Well, Wait, thank who you. got your tickets? Phil? Phil's, Phil's dad. dad. Fuck. 
I'm Phil, jealous. who I just roasted on the pod, he's going yeah. to be sad. Uh, it would be great if his dad had the same uh, tie-dye and hair. <laughs> no. And you had to you, sit in between the two of them. You just had a shower. You guys are just making fun of you. Had, like, my hair all you guys as bitch, because yeah. you were just you were just as ruthless as we yeah, were. Yeah, I was just doing Yeah, you brought to, Phil to up. Yeah, yeah. Phil. Like, oh, Phil said some fucking retarded <laughs> show. This dumbass piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you and were like, yeah. Now, now his just, hair looks stupid. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. That's just, my best just, friend who does stuff for me, and that's why I, I just to remember him. he got me baseball tickets. <laughs> yeah. He fucking... Yo, what's up with those PlayStations, Phil said he Yeah. Games? He owes us three PlayStations. He owes us three PlayStations. I'll pay dude. money for that shit, dude. Oh, yo, what any the fuck listeners? What's the point of having Phil give you Just a, a little bit. Any listeners, uh, uh, if you need a free PlayStation, you want a free PlayStation, you, you, hit up. you have <laughs> PhilCohen at gmail.com. <laughs> just some Jew. That's just definitely not his Gmail, right? He doesn't have Phil Cohen. I think it might be. Is it? I don't think it is. I yeah. think it might be. Costco though, official I... on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. DM him. Slide in his DMs. You yep. say, get out, go to Costco official on Instagram. You say, give the cum boys the PlayStation. Yeah. Every comment, every yeah. picture. Fill Find the comments. Phil. <laughs> Find Phil. Harass him until Harass he gives Phil until PlayStation. He gives yeah, PlayStation. these fucking PlayStation. I want you to give him the Leslie Jones what's special. His what's his Twitter? Uh... Uh, Tree River. <laughs> Is that it's his him? band? It's his band. Okay, yeah. yeah. Do just at Tree River until they yeah. give us find out venues that uh, their band's playing in. <laughs> Call up the venue. They and got say, a gig Look, coming up. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to scare you, but that guy Phil raped <laughs> a girl. <laughs> And I don't we know if that's the kind of thing you support it. if your venue <laughs> is rapist. But uh, I just know that I won't be attending that show. And my name is John. I work for BuzzFeed. Thank you. <laughs> and then click. And then just get those. <laughs> All right. That's All good. Right, All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.